Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, one of the things that I always get asked is, Don, you're a tech, you go and do house calls and you repair computers and tablets and all that stuff. You know, what kind of tools do you bring along with you? And I was like, that's a great idea. So, I got my tool bag that I carry and I usually take this, the tool bag, and I'll take a monitor sometimes with me and sometimes I'll take a keyboard. It just really depends on what it is that I'm doing. Regular book bag that I got. I like this one because of the compartments in it. Uh, let's see here. One of the things that is in here in this top compartment is zip ties. I know that. Uh, I got little screwdrivers, you know, five volt. That looks like a switch, a power switch. Yeah, it's a power switch. Uh, that's for phones and stuff. Let's see what else is in here. Yep, more little screwdrivers and more zip ties. Basically, I try to take anything that I think that I may need because I know for a fact that when I get to that customer's house, there's a 99.9% .9 chance that they will not have what I need. So, moving on with it. Okay, we're going to open that up. And then we got two main zippers on each side, so I'll just unzip them like so and open them up. Immediately you find cables. I swear I cannot carry enough cables. This is an HDMI cable. This is a VGA cable. Uh, I'll get to what that is. Let's see here. This is a, an HDMI to VGA, which always comes in handy. Uh, that's a micro. HDMI to a full-size HDMI and then I have what looks to be Okay, I gotta do that again. All right, so I got a micro HDMI with full HDMI to it um, This right here is a box. This is a uh, this is a 3.5 inch hard drive protection box I bought this on Amazon not too long ago, and I really haven't had a need to use it yet, but basically what it is, is it's a little armored box for your hard drive. So you can put a regular 3.5 standard hard drive in there and carry it around and it will it'll be protected in this hard case box. All right, moving on. This right here is my portable DVD player. Not every computer has a DVD player with them, especially the more modern computers. And a lot of times the disc player won't work on the computer that I'm working on. So I have to bring my own. And then I got this spiffy little handy dandy case to keep it all clean and keep it from getting all scratched up. All right, moving on. Um, this is my little box. This is also another little padded box that I carry around. These are adapters. Uh, I cannot express to y'all enough how much adapters are worth their salt and gold. That's all there is to it. You know, um, 90 degree USB to PS2. <clears throat> then I got micro to 30 pin because you got to remember I do cell phone repairs too. Micro to type C. Uh, that is, I don't know. That looks like it's micro to a lightning plug. And then this is a USB to micro for data transferring and other things. I tell you what, these little adapters, I use more than anything. It's ridiculous on how many I go. I'm always opening this little box of adapters. All right, moving on with the tour. This right here is just a box. This is where I carry some of the other cables and adapters. Like that's a, a USB female to male. And that's an antenna. And then we got, you know, some other kind of janky thing. Another fan for, but that other, the other fan was for a lightning. This one's for a USB, which I need to put in there. And then you have a on off switch for USB right here see that male female switch that comes in handy um, extension you know just every little thing I carry some SATA plugs with me sometimes a fan extender um, an antenna you know just a USB 
extensioner, just all kinds of little stuff that I carry with me because it, it you never really know what you're going to find. So uh, moving on, I got wire cutters in here in case I need to do something. Uh, this isn't nothing yet. I haven't decided what to put in this. Um, power cable. You need a need a power cable. Definitely, definitely need that. This is a uh, PCIe network adapter. Sometimes I get there and I'm having internet issues with people's computers, so I have um, a network adapter to fix that. Moving on, this is a DVI to micro HDMI cable. I tell you what, guys, that's my biggest, that's my biggest battle. Literally, that is my biggest battle, is just having the right adapters when I go to somebody's house, you know? Um, HDMI to DVI, gotta have one of those. This is a 3.5 inch hard drive fan cooler. A lot of times uh, I'll be doing certain things and people will have some ancient, ancient hard drives and I need them to stay cool while I'm doing stuff to them. So this right here really helps. Also, sometimes I carry around um, a 120 millimeter or an 80 millimeter fan because you never know when you're gonna need a fan. This right here is an ESD safe brush. See how it says it right there? Yes, an electric static brush. Gotta have one of these. Moving on. Um, let's see here. Molex to SATA. And then another USB plug. All right. And down in this little compartment here. Let's see, here we get this open. All right, so I have a suction cup. That right there allows me to um, grab onto a screen or something and pull it off, which comes in handy all the time. And then I have a couple different types of tool kits in here. Uh, a wireless mouse, gotta have one of those. Tape measure, because you never know what you're going to need to measure. Moving on with what we're talking about. This right here is a portable heat gun, and I use this thing all the time. It it does wonders. It really does. I I gotta have it. <laughs> um, let's see what's in this compartment here. If I can get it open. All right. So in here I got um, a flashlight, which looks like it needs to be charged a little. So I have a flashlight in here electrical tape um a spare camera because sometimes i do security or video surveillance jobs this is shrink wrap gotta have shrink wrap um that's another antenna cable but for like a tv or something this is a clip-on light it clips on like that and then you just turn it on and do whatever you need for it to do it it works sometimes, especially when I'm in a tight spot. All right, and then you have, you know, little foam and zip ties, a marker. Mm, let's see what we got on the other side of the bag. There is, oh, okay, so I have wire cutters and a little clip. Sounds like I got some money in here too. Oh yeah, that's all right. All right, let's see here. What else? Is there anything that I'm missing? He got that up there. All right, so you guys have seen everything that is in my bag so far, but there is still one thing that I haven't shown you yet, and it is probably the. I would say most important thing, especially when it comes to the computer jobs that I do. And I carry it around in this box right here, this nice padded armor box. It's, it's great, I love this box. All right, so let me show you guys what I got in here. Open it up and it says it right on the label. Can y'all read that? No, I guess it doesn't say it. Well, anyway, this right here is a debugger. All right, this is awesome. You have to have one of these guys. Let me talk to y'all real quick. So, 
let's say you're having a problem with a computer and you cannot figure out why or what is going on with this computer so what you do is you can plug that part into the ram slot i think no aim it pci it says it right there isa bus and then pci bus basically what you do is you plug that into one of the pci ports on your motherboard and then you plug this little number coder thing into here and what it will do is it will spit out a code and then you look in here this is your little pamphlet see how it says pc analyzer on it so you would open that up look up the code and it'll tell you that there's something wrong with the cpu or there's something wrong with the power supply or this is some so basically it debugs and diagnoses the problem in a computer it also works on laptops playstations xboxes anything that will take an isa bus or a pci express now you can also get pci express adapters to like usbs and you know they make all types of different adapters but that right there have saved my butt more than a few times especially when I couldn't figure out what it was. And then I use this right here. This is one more thing that I carry along with me. This little beauty right here allows me to get into Wi-Fi signals. It'll allow me to grab onto that signal and allow me to connect or do what I need to do with it. Sometimes not everything that I do is, let's say, legal, but it is what the customer wants. But yeah. That's it guys, I have to put this entire mess back together, but that right there is what I carry when I go on jobs. I also recommend that you carry a voltmeter and one or two other little things that you can put together. Really it just depends on what job and what you're going to do, but I like to carry just kind of a basic, you know, a basic um, aptitude of parts and you know all kinds of things and if i'm doing other stuff you know like i'll come in here and i'll grab a power supply if i need a power supply this right here allows me to do data transferring of hard drives you know and then i have external hard drives and then other things are over here i don't know why that is there but you know if i need to take a, a dvd burner or something like that with me i will i got spare mouses over here you know windows and then this right here this is this is a a usb host card i carry that sometimes with me that right there is saved my kahunas mouses you know just all kinds of little technical things that you need to fix and sometimes i'll take a graphics card with me um depending on what the problem is but yeah all right guys i got to go i just wanted to show y'all what i carry around with me and the kind of things that you may need if you're going to do repair service so make sure you guys drop me a like and subscribe. I'll keep working and doing what I'm doing in here. And I hope you guys like what's going on. If you're new to the channel, check us out on Facebook. We do have a group and we do have a business page, guys. And we're on BitTube and Tumblr. And there's one more that I can't think of right now. But I'll get to that. I digress. But anyway, guys, I'm getting out of here. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, y'all be cool and peace.